Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions in video request, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. Some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. As always, just a like button, it's all I'm asking. Or actually, hold on a second. If you are interested in Shopify customization and you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So every little thing I do create is completely free. The codes and the videos and everything. And not just in random videos, it's actually quests, questions or requests from people. People having, question, having issues with their Shopify store they ask me to make a video and I make a video for them. It's a win-win situation, but I'll let you decide, now respect your decision, just a like button as I said. And then here I am again back with another requested video as always. I did actually reply to the person who asked me about this. I did reply to the call to do so, but questions keep repeating. So instead of waiting to another person to ask me the same question or reply again with the same answer, I get to make a video. Whoever has the same question, he can easily watch the video and fix the thing he's trying to fix, which is in this case, making the quantity selector rounded corners on your Shopify product page. And this is a little bit tricky because all the Shopify store right now already have rounded corners for the quantity selector, but some Shopify stores don't have that. Some custom made teams and some ones that that's already provided by Shopify themselves does not have it like taste team. Taste team doesn't have the rounded corners for the quantity selector. And in this video, I will do demonstration on it. So without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. And as I mentioned earlier in my videos, all the tricks and videos I do demonstration in down team because it's the most used one, also the most requested one. But before I do that, I make sure I try all my calls behind the scenes on all of these teams to make sure that it working, it's working fine for the others. So even if you're not using down or taste in this case, it should work for you just fine because I do test them behind the scenes. So as I said, taste doesn't have the rendered corners for the quantity selector. Let me show you that. So this is uh, the taste team and let me access this product. For example, as you can see, the quantity selector has uh, pointy corners and we want to make them rounded corners. No worries. We will do that in the video. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize, uh, where, which is in my case is this, not the default team that I'm using. So click on the three dots and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And then here we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders like this, you might get dizzy or something. Simply use the search bar at the top left corner Again, I have to mention this for the million time or billion time. It's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css. And some custom made teams going to be custom.css. But they mostly now use base or team or style. Here I know it's base. Type in base. Here it is. Base.css. Click on it. And after that, a bunch of CSS code will show up. Scroll all the way down. Let me track this because it's a huge file actually. Here we go. We are at the bottom of the file and we need to create some space to paste in our code, but there is no space. To create that space, simply click front of the last thing, which is in this case is closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new space to paste in our code and where are you gonna get that code? As always, from the description box. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code, completely free. Simply click on it and it will take you to this very short code. It's shameful to sell something <laughs> this short as you can see. So select the whole code, then right click and copy. Oh yeah, uh, border radius. So border radius is the value for the rounded corners. 20 is like a number, a value for the rounded corners. You want it more rounded, increase the number. You want it less rounded, decrease the number. It's very simple, right? In my case, I'm gonna keep it as 20, just for demonstration. Simply paste it at the bottom of the file. Now click on the save button. After a couple of seconds, we will be good to go. We will get back in here, reload the page and see the magic happens. Ta-da! Check it out now. It's rounded corners as you can see. And this will be applied to any Shopify teams. And that's how you make the quantity selector rounded corners for your Shopify store. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.